In this video, I'll be diving into the Football League, and more specifically, League One, to take a look at an emerging young manager. This is why you should be paying attention to Liam Manning at MK Dons this season. First of all then, this video is sponsored by OneFootball, the best app to download on your phone to make sure that you stay up to date with all the latest news and latest scores in the football world. On the profile for MK Dons here, we can see the latest results that they've had, but also the top stats for the team. And what this does is give you an average number per match, so 1.9 goals scored and 1.4 goals conceded per match. And something we're going to be taking a deeper look into is the amount of possession that MK Dons average, so as you can see there on the app, 64% is what they average. But when you tap on to see all there's so much stuff to look at here and this is for each team in the football league and as well as viewing those stats for each team you can do the same thing for every player in the football league too and that is what one football is really great for looking at those detailed stats and analyzing each team or player so to access that for yourself you can download one football on your phone and you can simply do that by clicking the link in the description Liam Manning was appointed the MK Dons manager on the 13th of August this year, only after previous manager Russell Martin left for Swansea City in the championship. MK Dons went a similar direction of a young manager, in fact Russell Martin is the youngest manager in the Football League, Liam Manning is the fourth youngest. There's a clear profile that MK Dons look for when appointing managers, young and promising, and have a certain style of football. As described in their statement when announcing Liam, he plays an attractive and entertaining brand of football. He also has a great reputation for developing young players, he in fact managed the West Ham under-23s team when midfielder Declan Rice was starting to push into the first team. And one of the links to Manchester City that he's had is he left West Ham to become the academy director at New York City. They are owned by the City Football Group and they also own Manchester City. And from there, in August 2020, he became the manager of Belgian side Lommel. And they are also owned by the City Football Group. In his season with them, they finished third, gaining 16 more points than the previous season. Now, although this was was a familiar appointment by MK Dons, it was different. Liam Manning became the first head coach of MK Dons. The role of a head coach over a manager means that they are tasked with ensuring the performances on the pitch are as good as they can be, taking control of training sessions to fine tune the system that they want to play, which does suit MK Dons very much. The club have taken a direction under Russell Martin and now Liam Manning to dominate the ball, to have patterns of play, and that means that passing around the opposition is key, so a head coach focused specifically on pitch performances here make sense. Last season they had an average of 60.3% possession and so far this season it's been even higher with 63.6%. However the difference is under Liam Manning they are having more shots per game with 15.7 in comparison to last season's 11.6. And that's where the comparisons to a heavy possession style of football seen at Man City with Guardiola come in. Not just having more possession than the other teams but dominance of the ball. City averaged 5% more possession than Liverpool with the second most. MK Dons average 6% more than Bolton who are in second. And what this does is allow them to have huge control of the match where their decision making is crucial. The obvious thing here is that possession isn't everything, it's what you do with it, but MK Dons have averaged the second most key passes with 12.2. Above them first in that list is Bolton on 12.3, so they're on a very similar number. These two teams are creating many chances. What isn't so Pep Guardiola like is the fact that the system being played is with three centre-backs. And reading into what Liam had to to say in an article from the coach's voice is interesting as he discusses how to beat a medium block, where he talks about creating a 3v2 against the opposition's wide midfielder and fullback, he can look to do this easily at MK Dons with this system. Liam does alternate the formations between one that has three flat central midfielders and another where there's two holding and one attacking, but in either of these setups there's a midfielder that can drift into wide spaces to create an overload and play around the defence. It means there's more passing options with the midfielders or split strikers as they move wider too, and this is important for the players to understand and learn as they will have the ball the majority of the game. Which leads back to the head coach appointment over a manager. There's a tactical focus at MK Dons and Liam Manning is there to get this into the players. Like it's been seen wherever he's gone, youth has been a focus and this is why MK Dons was the right choice of club for him. They have the second youngest average age this season in League One, and one of the youngest players being Troy Parrott on loan from Tottenham, maybe a familiar name if you play Football Manager a 
Charlotte. In 10 matches played, he scored 3 goals and got 4 assists, and as well as that, 22-year-old Scott Twine, he scored a hat-trick in their recent match against Fleetwood Town. So the connection between the manager and the younger players has also gone well so far. Sitting near the automatic promotion spots at the moment, life has started well for Liam Manning at MK Dons. With the most goals scored in the league so far, I think the phrase in the statement of attractive and entertaining football has been fairly accurate. If you enjoyed the video, then please click the like button, it's massively appreciated as it helps the videos getting found. And for more football insight and analysis, subscribe to Route 1.